Carly? Blimey. Morning, Charlie. Oh, uh, yeah, morning. Are you all right? Well, I was just m m making some toast. Yeah? yeah well, it, it's always have toast in the morning. It's, you can't go wrong. But best meal of the day, they say. Well, you should, like, if you... Well, yeah. Yeah, well... Mm. Mm. Don't want to be late. Water scan's not until ten. And after kidding her, I'm some sort of basket case. She'll either be feeling sorry for me or sulky. You think you can handle her? Yeah, I expect so. What now? Oh, you haven't seen my car keys, have you? <sighs> Rob, you know what it's like for scans. Miss our turn. It'll be difficult to schedule another. Our turn? <sighs> you know what I meant. Oh, here they are. Can't believe I fell asleep on the set. Chelsea! Breakfast! Carly! Your sister didn't come home last night. <laughs> Typical. What? What's she doing to get at me? How can you say that? Oh, can't you see? She wants me to go, oh, Carly, please come back. I'll do anything you want. Nah, not this time. Dean! Oh, what does she think? She's the only one missing dad or something? Police are outside, Mum. What do they want? I'm going to court today, pleading guilty, ain't I? Isn't that enough? How should I know? Well, what else do they want me for? Lord Lucan? Do I look like Nick Ross? It's harassment. That's what it is. You show a little bit of entrepreneurial expertise and they're all over you like a rash. And if anyone asks about that channel number five in the allotment shed... We're just going over to the car lot now. Yeah? Good. What was that about the shed? Nothing. Oh. Um, how do I look? Like you're going to a funeral. Well, you ain't far off. I'll tell you what, give Chelsea another five minutes and then drag her out by her ankles, my blessing. Pat. What? Sorry, I was, I was thinking about Carly. Oh, isn't it about time she adjusted? Grew up. Are you just going to stand there whispering, or has one of you got a bottle to say to my face? I don't know what you're talking about. Standing there talking about me. How stupid do you think I am? On a scale of one to ten? <laughs> like a couple of fishwives. Stale fishwives. You know, I don't know what's worse. You two yakking away, or actually thinking I care. <laughs> Tea to go, please, Joe. What are you doing now? Having a bacon sarnie. Do you want some? I thought you were still in bed. I got up early. You? Yeah, I wanted to practice, and I can only really do that when the salon's empty. Oh. So. You want me to get on, don't you? Yeah. So it's made a mess looking for it. Well, that's why the old bill around, is it? Yeah, it's okay. It's nothing to do with Dad. 
Where were you last night? Who cares? I do. I was worried. Why? Come home, Carly. This can't go on. Why, has Dean told Shay to stuff it yet? His family is coming apart at the seams. Enough is enough. Come on, love, what do you say? Right speech. Wrong person. All set? Come on, then. Let's get it over with. Do you want me to come in with you? Don't you think you've done enough already? Word. Oh, you're looking feisty. Been at the wing carnus again. I want you to pack your bags. You what? You word. Nobody wants you round here. Dino does. Leave Dean and Carly alone. Stop trying to be part of this family. I am part of this family. Oh, no, you ain't. You just happened to be there when they were born. I think you finally lost it. You're destroying them kids. You carry on like this and you won't have a family. Is that what you really want? What's the night of today, Pat? Is your phone riding up again? I'm serious. I'm not! Yeah. You too? What's going on? Shirley's just leaving. What? As soon as possible. Dream on. If you cared about them kids, you'd go. Oh, I care about them. That's why I'm staying. Ah, you just care about yourself, what you want. Feeling guilty, are we? Want to make amends? Well, it's too late. Pat, take it outside. It's all right, Peggy. I'm just going. You are nobody's mother. Get over it. Only do it somewhere else. And you're such a great mum, are you? Oh, I don't believe it. At least I stick around. Yeah, it was the kids that ran. They all fly the nest sooner or later. It's all only now. them husbands. You got kids. You got stepkids. Where are they? It's all in the past. Yeah, you're Who right. Cares? I do have to make amends. I've got a lot to make amends for. But you and me, we're the same. I don't think so. The only difference is that I don't use other people's kids to do it. How long's all this going to go on for? What? All this. But what's it to you? Why can't you let Kevin go? When are you going to face the truth that he's never coming home? How can you say that? How can you even think that? Got to. Why? Well, what else is there? Waiting, giving the benefit. What, and you don't think I've done that? After everything that he's done for you, he's stuck his neck out. He took on Owen! <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's the point? Oh, Dad's gone for five minutes and there you are, washing your hands. You know what, go on like this, you're gonna have no friends, no family. Aren't you ashamed? Why don't you wake up before it's too late? Did you ever love him? Hey, uh, Carly. No. <sighs> Carly! Carly, don't you walk away! Tanya, I hope you're paying Chelsea for all that extra work. You are? Coming in early. Chelsea? Yes, yeah, she needed the practice, but don't you go taking advantage. she tell you that, didn't she? Yes. She never came in early. Right. Then we'll wash you, then. But that's not hard, is it? Unless, of course, you don't know. Know what?
May. Yeah. You want to call her back? Oh, she'll leave a message if it's important. She's not going psycho and boiling Genghis. <laughs> Here, let's see. It's not a real scare, you know. It's just a tape they shove in the back of the machine. Everyone goes, oh, but it's actually the same baby every time. <laughs> Shut up. Well, I mean, look at it. How could you tell? It's grown so much. Obviously, it's a different tape of those twins. <laughs> You're not going to spoil it for me. I don't want to. I'm glad you were there. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Let's go look again. <laughs> now we should go. Can't keep May waiting. Well, it's not easy for me either. Oh, don't give me that. You're not the one who's stuck on the outside. Well, it's not forever, is it? You think she's going to change? Well, she might. Everyone thinks she's great. She gets all their sympathy. Am I the only one who knows how bonkers she is? That's not fair. I wanted everything sorted by now. But instead, you can't leave her because you'll completely lose it. And meanwhile, everywhere I go, people treat me like I'm... What? Tell me. No, you've got enough to worry about. Dawn, what? Coming on like born-again virgins. Who do they think they are? Who? Tanya and Jane. Like they've never cheated or lied. I just want us to be together. All three of us. Look, I'll be taking a little bit of money out each week from mine and May's bank account. It's not so much you'll notice, but enough. In a little while, we'll leave. You and me. That's somewhere new, far away from everything. Leave her alone. Sorry? Chelsea. I know. Oh. So what have you got to say for yourself? Not much. That it? Well, do I need your permission every time I sleep with someone? No. Don't think I do, do I? I don't think Chelsea does either. I don't want you seeing her. Why? She can do better than you. Really? Where? I know your type. Oh, and uh, what type is that then? I've heard things. Oh, I'm a gog. You're a wrong un. Bit of a heartbreaker. And Chelsea's never dumped anyone, is that it? Look, we both know what's going on here. Which is? Well, you wouldn't be half as crazy if you were getting any at home, would you? Oh, leave off. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, single mum, passed it, jealous of her daughter. And it happens all the time. It's sad, but it happens. Oh, you're something else, ain't you? Well, I get by. You got all the girls falling for you, is that it? And then, what? String them along, make them think you're the one, and you've got a life together, and then you drop them like that. <laughs> you know, this whole Kevin business must be quite hard on you. What do you know about it? I'm just saying. You know, if I cared about someone, I'd at least let them know I was all right. You know, give them a call, send them a text. Yeah. I'm fine, OK? It's just seven little letters, isn't it? Not including the apostrophe and the optional kiss. It's not hard. Don't take it personally. It's just an observation. Well, there's the head there, and uh, there's the arm. I have seen one of these before. Oh, right. Is everything okay? Of course. Well, I, I just thought you might I be more. I tried my... calling you earlier. Yeah, I know. You didn't answer. Well, my phone was switched off. Why? Well, I, I was in the hospital. You were meant to call me. Let me know how it went. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't know what was happening. I thought there might have been a problem or something. I got distracted. Oh, really? Uh, Dawn's unhappy. <sighs> Too bad. I mean it. Jane and Tanya, they're treating her like dirt. She'll get over it. And it's really getting her down. <laughs> Well, it's not funny. Well, it's hardly a crying shame, either. May? After what she did, she's got to expect a little bit of stick, surely. It's more than that. Well, what am I meant to do about it? Have a word. Tell him to back off. Do that. Do you really want to drive her away? <sighs> if she runs off again, it'll be a disaster. For who? Oh, come on, May. We've got her where we want her, have we? Where you want her, maybe. Where we both want her. This. 
This little girl, she's what we're doing it for, isn't it? A girl? They confirmed it this morning. A beautiful girl. Our girl. One hundred bleeding hours. Do you know how long that is? Well, it's less than 300 you could have got. I hope you like takeaways. Why? Cos the barrister said, I've got to do my hours of a night. So who's going to get your tea? Mm. I'm going to have her. Who? Tanya the stuck-up cow. She dropped me in this. How do you know that? If she's got a problem with her kid smoking, take it out on the kid. Is that what you think? It's not my fault if I've got an eye for an opportunity. So you're thinking that Tanya tipped off the customs? Well, who else would it be? Well, start with all those who know you and then go on from there. It's her. I know it is and I ain't taking this line down. Uh, you never do. Someone's going to pay for this. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. You OK? Fine, really. You know... If you ever need to talk... Well, oh, actually, Jane, can you do me a favour? Yeah, tell me. I don't believe it. I mean, how could you? How long did you reckon you were going to get away with that stupid story for? I don't know. Look, your mum's a lot of things, Charles. She ain't thick. I mean, why can't she just leave us alone? Well, I think she will now. Why? Told her a few home truths. I don't think she liked it. What did you say? You want me to lighten up on Dawn? You and Tanya. Why? Well, it seems some of the things you've said have really hit home. Good. She's not that bad. Doctor, are you feeling all right? I mean it. I mean, what happened between her and Rob happened, but it's over and we want to put it behind us. I guess having a pop of isn't really going to help. <sighs> well, if, if that's what you want. At least said soon as mended, eh? Sean told me what he said. Oh, yeah? And I told him he was way out of line. Oh, it's OK. I shouldn't have lied this morning. No. I'm really sorry, Mum. It wasn't even a very good lie. Oh, well, I'll try harder next time. Seeing Sean Slater, Chelsea, this is not a good move. But I really like him. But yet, yeah, Mum... Oh. I know what I'm doing. You do? And I think he really cares about me. The only person Sean cares about is himself. He... Just don't get hurt. Every man I've ever known has walked away. And it doesn't matter how tough you are, it doesn't get easier. It's hardly ever worth it. Save your breath. It's time, Carly. I can't pretend. Nobody's asking you to pretend. I'm not going to betray him and I'm not going to write him off. I'm sorry if that's inconvenient. I felt just like you do now. Oh. When Frank, my ex, walked out, I had no idea where he was. I went round most days like I was sleepwalking. I didn't want to have to do this. Before Kevin cleared out the account, he bought four tickets. If he ain't already left the country, he's planning to. Either way, he's not coming home. Uh, but I don't I'm don't... sorry, darling. I, I didn't want to have to show you this. Let you remember him, you know. No, yes. Thanks. Thanks, Pat. Carly, it's time to stop sleepwalking. You ain't betraying him. You have done enough. Carly, love. It's OK, um... I'm just going to need a couple of minutes, yeah? <sighs> Jane? Just so you know, 
know. I don't care what you or Tony think. I'm still going to come in there whenever I want. So if you don't like it, you're going to have to bar me. I'm not going to bar you. Oh. In fact, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about this morning. You are? It's not my business. No. OK, then. OK. I'm just saying, next time you have a young lady to stay, tell her to wear something. Well, it'll spoil all your fun. I didn't know where to put myself. Yeah. Bet you thought of a few places since, though, eh, Charlie? Has Carly been in? Not yet. Maybe she'll pop in later. Maybe. Not that I'm bothered or anything, you know. I've been thinking. And the thing is, I mean, all this Carly business is causing a lot of grief. Mm. So I've decided that I... What? You decided what? All right, Carly. Can you... get someone to cover for this evening? Why? Well, I thought maybe we could, um go out somewhere or get a bite to eat, you know, maybe. What, the two of us? I can't. Oh, don't worry. No, I, I mean, I'm meant to be working, and after the other night, you know, it's... Forget I asked. It's... Look, fine. it's not that busy. Just leave it with me, and I'll see what I can do. What time? Well, I need to go back home first and, you know, get changed and that, so, um, about an hour. All right, I'll see you then. EastEnders tomorrow at 8 here on BBC One and as Kevin reappears an EastEnders special in a moment on BBC Three looks at the turbulent past of the Wicks family. I've been planning this dinner for weeks. I want it to be perfect. She's getting all excited because her school friends are coming over. Oh look, the karaoke machine. <gasps> What's wrong with her? Hello Wembley! Hotel Babylon tonight at 9 on BBC One. And who'll be singing for survival before that? We're back at the Academy next. <laughs>